Alright, hi there everybody. Um, today my tutorial is going to be on port forwarding. To be able to perform the action of doing port forwarding, you must have a wireless or wired router. You need a router to do this. You might be getting this confused with modem. The differences are, if there is a tiny wire coming from your wall, going into the box and then a wire from that going into your computer that box is the modem not the router a router is used to um, make it so one modem can host internet to multiple computers okay so now you know you need a router now routers are accessible via an IP address they vary they are not all the same if you want to find out your address, I would recommend looking in the manual. I know for a fact that most of them all start with 192.168, and then they fluctuate from there. Mine just happens to be .0.1, okay? Yours could be .1.2, .0.3, .0.4, they, they could, excuse me, they could all be different. There we go, we're in the router. Belkin is our router type. Okay, so what? For the Belkin type of routers, it's called virtual servers. That's port forwarding. So, I have port forwarding, it doesn't matter what you put under description, but for ITV, um, I have these ports forwarded, this port and this port. So from 2170 to 2170 because that's the only port it needs forwarded as well as transmission I might as well type the whole thing right. so that is the port it recommend a forward for ITV to find out the port you need to forward open up transmission After it's open, go to Preferences, look under Network, and you'll see Peer Listening Port, 5 million, yeah, 5 million, 1,413, 5 million, 1,413, perfect! It says Port is Closed, you'll notice that, okay? It shouldn't say that. Then, you need to type your computer's IP address. To find that out, Right in the router, go ahead and open up DC, DHCP client list, iMac, IM, 0.3. But the way that I find out is I go ahead and open dashboard, F4, and on iStat Pro, it's free, um, it will tell you right down here, 0.3, 192.168.0.3, uh, so I'm going to change this one to 3. And this one, two, three. And then the IP addresses are the same over here. Now I will save these changes. Changes. We'll go to transmission here. We'll go to. We'll not check for update. Preferences. Port is closed. I click it. Should say port is open. Port is open. Perfect. So now it is port forwarding and allowing faster activities. Um, and that's really it. It varies for routers. If you have questions, contact me. Um, and if you want face-to-face -face contact, I am now supporting that. Um, I'm going to create a Skype account, which will um, be for contacting people with technical support questions, and I can contact you through that. So make a Skype account, give me your Skype name, and that will be the only thing I will contact you about. I'm not going to spam you, I'm not going to contact you again unless you want it. In fact, I'll delete you after we're done the support stuff. So that's it. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.